Okay, so I just got back from seeing The Flash, and that is The Flash 2023 film, not to be confused with the TV series or anything else bearing that name. Anyway, so, yeah, I was kind of on the fence about going to see this film uh, actually at the cinema, but, uh, and I'll see, I'm going to keep this spoiler free, but uh, I'll see, I didn't regret going to see it. But I'm gonna see it at the same time. If I didn't see it, you know, I would I would have just been happy to wait, you know, and see it uh, when it came out on streaming services or getting a physical copy, which I have pre-ordered uh, the skill book for this. So I enjoyed it enough for that. But I'm gonna see this right now, and I'm gonna sound like a broken record seeing this because you know i'm just repeating what everyone else has said but ezra man oh god bloody hell he is so annoying he's so annoying like he starts off the film you know being annoying the old the older barry but then weirdly when he then meets the younger barry he then kind of stops being annoying and suddenly miraculously matures up pretty much straight away but the young barry jesus christ i mean i just god the younger barry is just unbloody bearable and you are stuck with him for most of the film you are stuck with him for most of the film he's really bloody irritating and gritting on your teeth obviously there is one reason and one reason only myself and Pretty much everyone else wants to go see this film. And that's to see Michael Keaton return as Batman. And part of me was slightly disappointed because, unfortunately, he doesn't really do that much. Most of, you know, the cool shit you get to see him do, it's in the trailer. It's in the trailer. Yeah. Uh, Supergirl in this film, actually, uh, she wasn't half bad, actually. She was She was actually pretty decent. It's just a shame that, again, she barely had any screen time whatsoever in this. And it's kind of the thing where, you know, it's just it's just kind of just thrown in there because, oh, you know, we, we, need, we need to have a Superman or someone in this but can't be Superman. There's many stories about, uh, you know, this film just completely being in production hell, which one of the reasons apparently was at one point was to basically get rid of uh, Henry Cavill as Superman replace it him with Supergirl. This was one of the ways that they were going to get around it, but that ended up obviously never happening. But uh, yeah, it's just a bit of a weird one, and you get Ben Affleck back uh, as Batman at the beginning of this film again. Pretty much most of his scenes are in the trailer again, very very briefly, very very briefly. But. Uh, yeah, it's weird because basic, basically, you know, our main hero, the Flash, is in his first, you know, not even solo film, but the first entitled solo film is basically, you know, just overshadowed by everyone else. But the problem with that is, is that probably no one would have went, to, no one in their right mind would have gone to see this film otherwise mm. if... That wasn't the case. So, yeah, it is just really, and you know, it's, it's just kind of like, that's why I'm in two minds about I will say, though, the second half, I did really enjoy it. I mean, the second half, I would call just fun popcorn entertainment. I, it, it is just fun popcorn entertainment. I did not enjoy the second half. But the, fir the first half, I mean, it has its moments in there. It has its moments in there, but... God, the irritation through it, throughout, uh, you know, but, I mean, it is true, basically, once they do meet Michael Keaton Batman, that is when we finally go, okay, now we can be a, a you know, a half-decent film, so, yeah, but, ugh, just thinking about him just makes me grit my teeth, just make, make me think about young Barry, just, he just, oh, really gets on my wick. Uh, yeah, uh, something else to mention, um, this wasn't so much a problem, uh, weirdly in the second half as much as it was in the first half, 
But the CGI, particularly in the opening sequence of this film, my God, it's terrible. It looks, it looks like an early 2000s uh, CGI. It really does. I don't know how, because it's not exclusive to DC. It's not just exclusive to superhero films in general, but a lot of mainstream, you know, films that use a lot of CGI now, it, like, you know, what the hell happened? What the hell happened? I'm assuming it is a case of things are just being rushed. You know, things are just being rushed for the sake of it. And this film, I mean, it's been in kind of production hell for nearly a decade now, I believe. Uh, yeah. You know, but... It's, it's, the more I think about this film after the fact, I, I think the more I'm just thinking, is it worth it? I think... If you go for this solely for the Michael Keaton Batman, you'll be satisfied enough with it. But, you know, the, you're not going to get much more than that out of this. And, again, like, it is just poking on the member berries. But it's enough where you kind of just... At the end of the day, that was enough. That was enough. You know, it was... Half decent than that in the end. It was. It had some enjoyable fight sequences at the end. So, yeah. But to be honest, like, I mean, it it could have just as easily just been Ben Affleck's Batman. Like, there's nothing unique about it being Michael Keaton's Batman. Like, they address him being older, but that doesn't affect him in any way. He's still able to fight and take punches and bullets and everything just as well as a younger Batman. So, yeah, that the age thing is, you know, I was wondering if they were going to do anything about that, you know, like kind of like Dark Knight Returns. But, yeah, yeah, no, he, his age, other than just being, you know, mentioned uh, at briefly, um, is just kind of, you know, just ignored upon. So, yeah, th there's that. But, you know, I'll give it this, like, out of all of these DC Cinematic Universe films, this is probably the one I enjoyed the most. This is the one I enjoyed the most. I know that is not a high bar at all, but it is easily the one I enjoyed the most. So, yeah, I think if you go to CX, if you can get by Ezra Miller, yeah, I think you'll be, I think you'll have a decent enough time, so, yeah. <laughs>